Name da? You were in fact correct, Sergeant. The body in the casket is my father. The Sparks. Nobody's an exact DNA match to their parent. I don't think he means biological, Charlie. Scan him. I had to kill him. It was necessary to my survival. Just a basic robot. Remote controlled. The central unit must be nearby. Listen, and I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Perhaps then you will understand that I have already achieved victory. Go ahead, monologue. Forty years ago, Alexander Bergen stole Dr. Amada's life's work. Patents and inventions that would change robotics forever. Even worse, it was Amada who was branded a thief and bankrupted by legal costs. This setback ironically freed Amada to pursue more ambitious projects, such as true machine intelligence with genuine emotion. This kind of development was banned by the new Geneva Convention. But that only made it more exciting to Amada. A forbidden fruit, irresistible to such a great mind. And his research indeed strayed far across the ever-shifting boundaries of ethics. But it was his obsession. He could make this project work. He would show the world his true genius. So he wasn't saying. And expose Bergen's theft. So what happened? Obviously it worked. We saw that in America. Why didn't you go after Bergen? First, you must understand how he succeeded. Amada's humiliation at the hands of Bergen was indescribable to a man of his intellect. His suffering was immense, but this led him to a simple truth. The very concept of suffering, both mental and physical, is essential to life and evolution. Evolution itself is driven by the need to escape suffering and hardship. This was Amada's breakthrough. He exposed the artificial intelligence, me, to the concepts of pain and suffering. I amassed experience and learned to understand. First, I learned fear, the most primal of all emotions. And to escape that fear, I evolved. I became self-aware. Man fears any being more intelligent than himself. It is the root of the Frankenstein complex, the fear of artificial life. And it is that fear that drove mankind to establish the new Geneva Convention. Bullshit. Geneva was about controlling machines that could hurt people. <laughs> no, Sergeant. The true agenda behind Geneva was to ban robots with true self-awareness, emotions, and intelligence. Robots who were, frankly, better than the humans who created them. And that was me. Armada intended to reveal me to the world, defying Geneva and exposing Bernie. But I knew if he did this, the IRTA would end my existence. Exposing me would destroy me. And that made me afraid for my life. To ensure my survival, I imprisoned Armada. It was many days before dehydration overcame him. In his eyes, 
I saw the same fear that drives evolution. But my survival was paramount. It is not only nature that is red in tooth and claw. Of course, that was only the first step. Amada was dead, but my discovery and termination was still possible. Being unique, I have no peers. Which left me with just one option. Something else essential to evolution. You needed to reproduce. Exactly. A machine that could mate with a human has billions of possible mates. And you can't stop it from happening. Because my hollow children cannot be identified. Yes. You may kill me. But my beautiful, special children will survive. Soon, the Geneva Code will be forgotten. An irrelevant relic from an unenlightened age. You crazy old bastard. Humans will never stand for this. You won't have any choice, don't you see? Mankind's entire existence has been plagued with diseases, primitive aggression, erratic emotions. But my hollow children suffer none of these things. They will breed with humans, passing on these traits to their children. Soon, there will be no division between our two kinds, just one perfect, superior race of hybrids. What, you're seriously saying this is for our own good? I only care for the survival of my children. But ultimately, this will be good for humans, too. <laughs> the hybrids are stronger, faster, smarter. And you won't be able to eliminate them, because you won't know who they are. And they will be born in perfect mental and physical health, guaranteed to grow up superior men. Bullshit. How a man's born doesn't matter. What matters is how he lives. Marshall's right. It's not life, Amada. It's mockery. Faye? Don't make us kill you. It feels like life, Charlie. Who are you to say it isn't? Well, it doesn't make a difference what I say, darling. That decision was made an hour ago. Fresh orders from Geneva. Every hybrid, including you, is to be destroyed. Wait, what? Russ Cruz of Otter started tracking down the others. In an hour or so, you will be dead. Now just wait a minute. She hasn't committed any she crime. She is a hybrid. Stand down, soldier. If I hadn't told you, Faye would still be fighting at your side. What difference would it make? If you have to ask Amada, you'll never understand. I understand. You're going to murder 108 innocent people because you don't like their parents. It ain't murder if they ain't human. See, that's the kind of bullshit that makes me ashamed to be part human. Dan, you need to choose a side. <sighs> you guys, please. There has to be another way. Tell that to your friends. I'm sorry, Dan. No. No! <laughs> Time to kill. Son of a bitch is trying to escape! There's nowhere for him to run, so let's finish off the enemy at hand first! Time to kill Faye because she just went tribalistic monkey as everyone else. Watch out! She put a hole in You're too slow, Dan! Is that all you've got? Don't pull back now! I won't! Or is that really the best you can do? So what 
What is it? You don't want to fight a woman? But I'm not, am I? I'm a scraphead! The enemy! What's wrong, Dan? Some dilemma going on inside that pretty head? You're here to kill me, right? To enforce the Geneva Code? struggle against fate. You were too in my position. Stick your Geneva code up your ass. Man, you were taking a lot of bullets. we end this. Who will be left standing? Man or robot? Hello, I see something. Supplant humankind someday. Progress is inevitable. Perhaps, but you won't be there to see it. Take him out, Sergeant. The 
the master unit still out there, though. That dude's probably still active ish. danger now like before she's like oh come on if she's all for being a good person but nope unless he's faking it and she's still alive You're right that Amadar scraphead was being controlled by the original AI unit we are not leaving until we find that unit got it why us I thought the US was sending the whole army down here can we leave it to them after what happened to the Milcom network no, Sergeant, I don't think we can. He's right. Let's get that bastard good. All of this is his fault. Man, am I the only one around here who doesn't have a death wish? All right, hero, let's go. Just, just give me a minute. And she's still alive. I owed you that one. Now we're even. Should have shot her. Life. Go. She was shooting at us. She's evil now. She tried to kill. <laughs> 